Hello, pretty people. Welcome back to Simply, Simply Delish Duo. Well, as we all know that Christmas is just around the corner, so we are making a nice holiday treat for you today. We are making eggnog loaf or bread with a delicious eggnog glaze. This is one of our favorite loaves to make this time of the year, and you guys are going to love this recipe. So if you're new to our channel, check out our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, now this is our most favorite time of the year because um, it means baking and you don't feel guilty eating all the sweets. No, never. <laughs> Not at all. Not around this time of the year. So let's start off here. We're going to be using two and a quarter cups of flour. We have here a package of uh, instant vanilla mix. Pudding mix. Yeah, pudding mix. We have here, I'm going to do dry ingredients first. Sure. Okay. So we have here... Two tablespoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Once in a while, we will put a bit of cinnamon in there, but today we will not be doing that. We're just going to be using the nutmeg. Then we have here two eggs, one cup of sugar, a cup and a half of eggnog. And, and I notice you're using your Christmas I mugs. I am. <laughs> you know, this is a time that we could use our festive-looking dishes and mugs. And then we have here half a cup of butter, room temperature. You want to have it room temperature because it'll be easier to mix. A uh, teaspoon of vanilla extract and, you guys, two teaspoons of spiced rum. Now, if you don't want to use your spiced rum, you could always put a juice in there, like a, a nice fruit juice. Or even so, a coffee, like a yeah, coffee. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you don't, but we, we are using spiced rum today. So let's start off with the wet ingredients. So what we're going to do in a separate bowl, I am going to throw in our melted butter, well, room temperature. It's actually melting because it's nice and warm in here. Yeah, it's toasty. I know, right? And our eggnog. What I like about this loaf, what we do is we, we have it Christmas morning oh, and great. use it as French toast. It's great. It's our bread for French yep, toast. It's absolutely. so delicious, guys. So before I crack the eggs, you guys, I'm just going to give it a good whisk here. Now, you don't want to over over uh, mix. It doesn't matter if your butter's a little bit chunky because it will melt in the oven anyways. So I'll whisk it a bit. We'll throw in our eggs, our two eggs here. You can use that. Yeah, that's what I'll do, make it simple. Even though I have the garbage almost right beside me. Make it simple. Now, Chi, do you want to throw in a dash of uh, vanilla? Yeah. Do you mind? I'm going to eyeball it. So it's oh, about yeah. a teaspoon of vanilla here. Just like my eyeballs oh, everything. Oh, this is a new one. Oh, you do. Sorry. And of course, let me get my glasses on. I forgot that I got the new one out. Let me just... Oh, here we go. Sorry. And I'm going to eyeball it. So yep, but I think I put about a teaspoon and a half. Yeah. And we need two teaspoons of this nice spiced, spiced rum. rum. I love rum. Mm -hmm. So that's about one, two, and maybe just a wee bit for me. Um, a dash for you? Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't even a dash though. I know, right? Okay, so... Do you want to just continue mixing? Yeah, and then we'll come back with the uh, dry ingredients. Perfect. Okay, so we gave it a good mix. So now I'm going to take these dry ingredients. We're going to... Do. You have oh. it in your hands. Add in your vanilla pudding. Okay. And you guys, we're just going to... Oh, sorry. We're okay. just going to throw these all in. We're going to mix these dry ingredients all together. Make sure that we yeah. incorporate everything nicely together. Yeah, that the baking powder and everything's nicely in there. All right. And I think I've got it here. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to pour in our liquid, okay? And give it a good mix too. Yeah, oh, sorry, get every little morsel yes, in there. Yes, exactly. Exactly. All right. So let, we'll mix this. You don't want to overmix it because if you overmix it, you're going to have a tough loaf. Yeah, we so, want to keep our loaf. And that's why we're not using an, electrical, an electric mixer also. Because like I said, you do not want to overmix. You yes. want it nice and moist and soft. All right, so okay. I will continue. Do, do you want? To, yeah, I, I I'm gonna uh, turn on the oven at 350 degrees because you want to pop it in a, a preheated oven. Oh. 
Okay, so our oven's preheated at 350 degrees, and I just heard it beep too. Yeah, just our beep. Yes, our batter is nicely mixed here. Now, um, we generously buttered a, a pan here, and we dusted it with flour. You guys, you don't want to have your loaf stick. No. Otherwise, no. it'll just crumble and break. And um, if you don't, you want to use butter and flour, just use the spray, cooking spray. So what no, I'll we're do doing the old-fashioned way. Of course, the way Matt has taught yeah, us. Yeah, and I can. Yeah. Jonah. And this way, tilt it, and our pretty people could see. You guys, how easy was this? You know, sometimes we'll throw the cranberries in there too. Oh yeah. Yeah. But or even um, orange. Yeah. Chunks of yeah. Orange, orange and cranberry. And lemon. But we, I have, we have a different recipe for the orange and. Uh, That's like cranberry. almost like a panettone, which is like oh, an Italian sweet bread. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, it's always awkward doing it with two people. I'm always easier doing this one, like. So we'll just do that, and there. I was busy mixing it all. Did you mention about the? Um, about the French bread? Yes, I already did. See, I'll and I was the rest out in a sec yeah. here. So what I do is we pat it down, and like she mentioned, Bibi mentioned, we'll stick it in the oven for about 45 to 55 uh, minutes, or just check it with your toothpick. And once that toothpick comes out clean, your loaf is done. Yeah, and make sure, let it rest for about half an hour before you pop it out yes. of the pan, or else it will stick. It comes out easier once it's cooled oh, down. Definitely. I'm gonna get the rest of the batter in here, and we'll get this in the oven. So our loaf was in the oven for a good 50 minutes. Um, we took it out, let it cool down for half an hour, and we put it and popped it um, out of the tin after, after it cooled down, and put it on a rack. So now, we're ready to make the glaze. So we're using a cup of icing and sugar or powdered sugar. We have two tablespoons of eggnog and two tablespoons of our spiced rum. And I'm also gonna add a dash of vanilla. Mm. I know, I know, because we always bake with this vanilla too. So just a little bit, you don't need a lot. Just, just for some flavor. Yeah. Adds that extra And flavor. I was so happy it came out nicely. Oh, it came out perfect. Yeah. Slid yeah. right out of the pan. Oh, yes, yeah. Well, after you cool it down a bit. So, we're going to mix, give this a good mix. And our glaze is a thin glaze. We don't want it too thick because we like to pour it on top. Yeah, of we're going to be pouring it on top, so. And you know what I did take out because, you know, kids love sprinkles. I also, but we won't use it on our recipe today. I have the green and uh, red sprinkles for Christmas. Yeah, that's optional. Yeah. Yeah, but we just wanted to show you that we won't be using it. Make sure all the lumps and it's nice and runny. This is such a great dessert for Christmas. Oh, perfect. Such a nice festive holiday tree. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. And the house smells fantastic. It smells like Christmas. It smells beautiful. We actually even have a meal cooking, yeah. too. So... With that nutmeg and the sugar, it's oh, sugar and spice oh, and great. everything nice. Actually, you know what? Good thing you mentioned the nutmeg. I gotta add in just a dash of nutmeg. Oh yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Good thing you mentioned it. I even had it out here. A dash, like very, very, very little. Yeah, you don't want to overpower no, that. No, just a sprinkle of nutmeg. Want me to give it yeah. a mix? Give it a good mixture. Here, let me. Mix it up nice and good. All right, I think we're yeah. good. What so do you think? Yeah. It's Great. nice and thin. Like yeah, you, you said, want it thin. You want a nice runny glaze. Do we want to? Do you want to do the honors of that? You can go ahead. Okay, so what I do, what we do, I shouldn't say what I do, just pour is we top. just pour on top. In the center. So it, what I do, I'll do it this way so yeah, you guys so you can, can see. see. I start on one end and just pour it all over so, so that runs. glaze seeps into that low of your loaf it's so so yummy and let it run down the sides and you notice i have it we have a tray we have a tray underneath because you know wire rack too a wire rack yeah there wow and we want this glaze to set a bit let me before we cut into this so it'll still be ready though it won't set so it hardens and the glaze is optional, but it adds so much flavor. The glaze is optional. You could also sprinkle it with a bit of um, icing sugar. Yes, yeah. if you don't want to do a glaze, yeah. absolutely. No, yeah, you could just sprinkle it with icing sugar. You don't really need the spatula. I just pulled it out just in case. 
So, so I think we've got every nook and cranny there. I think we do, and it's kind of nicely seeping into there. Yes, so yes. It's beautiful. So I hope you like our delicious eggnog loaf. Thank you for watching. Simply, Simply Delish Do!